Welcome to Gamer Ability. I'm your host Six Penny, and I'm back with another PGA Tour 2K21 gameplay tutorial video. I've received a lot of requests to do a full tutorial whole series where I provide commentary and explain each shot that I take from whether it's off the green or on the green. So I'm gonna start that series today. Each video is gonna be around three holes, and keep in mind I'm gonna be playing these holes more slowly than I normally play. I'm, I'm actually a pretty quick player but I'm gonna slow it down for everybody so that you can see my thought process and understand more how I play. If you enjoy my gaming videos, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all my new gaming videos. All right, so let's go ahead and move into TPC Sawgrass. Gonna be playing on medium, southeast, moderate, moderate, fast. Uh, basically the same settings for the Platinum Tour Tournament that I'm playing in the week that I filmed this video. Welcome so when you're planning for your golf. tee shot, and especially right on the first us, hole of first the hole. competitive Let's round, go. first thing you want to think about is course management. So at number one in TPC Sawgrass, we have a, f a small fairway, a narrow fairway with danger to the left. You see this mulch and trees, if you hit it here, you're basically going to be laying up into this area right here where my cursor is. You do not want to do that. So course management wise, I would rather aim to the right, do a fast follow through than risking aiming more a little closer to the edge with my normal slight fast drive and actually doing a very fast and flicking it over into the mulch. Next place, you want to figure out where you want to land on the fairway. So I want to land, if I can land in this area, it's going to roll up up here, which is going to give us a clear shot away from these trees. If we land a little bit further to the left, we're going to have the trees in play and it's going to be a lot, a much more difficult shot. So let's go ahead and hit the shot. I'm going to aim towards the right side of the rough here, do a full fast follow through. I always say get the nervous jitters out on the first hole. Do as many practice swings as you need. So we're going to do significant fast. Okay, that's a little, that's a good example. That's much faster than I wanted, but we accounted for that course management so that we did not want to be in the mulch. So we miss hit that, but it still worked and out in our favor. Shot here on the first. So as we head into the second shot, when you're looking towards the green, first pick your landing spot and then decide what club you need to hit and what percentage to get there. So my landing spot, a 133 nine iron, or if we have to go up a club with an eight iron partial, I want to land around 128. We have this upslope here. So once I hit on moderate greens, we're still going to bounce forward just a little bit. But if we hit this hill and land short, I'd, I would rather be short than far here because I'd rather have an uphill putt than downhill. Even though, because we look up here, it looks like there's less break here, but there could be a ghost break. There could be break that's not there. So I would rather be here. I've had this putt multiple times. This is what I'm looking for. So I want to hit it 128. The elevation is three feet. So three feet divided by three is one. That means I need to add one yard to the shot to compensate for the elevation. Now I need to account for the wind. We have a cross headwind. It looks like it's shifting right now to a straight, almost a straight side wind. It's about six or seven miles per hour. I'm gonna turn on the wind meter. So we have six miles per hour. It basically moved to a side wind, but keep in mind, it's not a straight side wind. There's a little cross head wind that's gonna take off some yardage. So it's moving almost to a straight side wind. So I'm gonna say it's gonna take off about three yards. So I need to add about three yards to the shot. So that gives us 132, almost a full nine iron. Now I need to compensate for the aim multiplier for, you can use my wind data, Excel spreadsheet. You can see all the multipliers how the wind affects in different speeds. Keep in mind those are averages. So in this case, I'm gonna play this as double. So I need to aim about 14 flicks of the stick to the right. That is with a perfect swing. So then let's go into, we're in a practice round. So we're gonna do a practice swing. See where your tempo lies. Try to find that perfect tempo. Okay, a little on the fast side. I think I can find the perfect. Gonna go for about a 99% swing. Perfect. So I hit it on the fast side, 97, but the 97 nice. and fast are going to cancel each other out. 
That is why I use forgiving irons there. So a solid oh, shot. If I hit yeah, that perfect 97, fine. we're going to be work. in great position. So and let's look at the putt. The game's the default distance it gives you here is pretty solid. It's a good holding speed, but I usually use 1.25 as my multiplier. So this is even. So basically on this, I would add 1.25 further around here. If, if you feel confident with the stroke, go with the game's default. It's a good holding speed, but a lot of times it'll leave you a little bit further than you want to be. Next, determine the break. You can use my number system. I design numbers to the grid, but as I get progressed in the game, I go by fill and I use the number systems, but then I go by fill for my correction. So this one, I'm gonna assign a three, six, and it's not breaking at the end here. So a six click putt. And let's hit it and see if we can send it home. S practice swing here. It could be a good one. And we hit it. Okay, birdie so started off with the birdie on the first hole here. Good way to start. So I know there's a lot you have to think about, but keep in mind, as you're playing this, it's going to become automatic. I, I account for these things just automatically now. So if we move into the next drive, I do not want to miss in the trees to the left. So again, just like the last hole, I'm going to go for a fast. In, we have a cross tailwind that's a little bit left to right, so it's going to help fight against that fast. In this fairway, I want to be towards this left side so I can have a clear shot up to the green. So for me, I would aim right at the mulch here and try to fast it into the fairway. It's a par five. You just want to hit the fairway. Don't risk it. So I very fasted it. That's not what I was trying to do, but I aimed enough to the right to compensate for it. So course management there. Know where you usually miss and compensate for it. If you're slow, work for you. consistently slow, you want to aim to the left there to compensate. So as we move into our second shot here, you have a couple options. In my golf bag, I have a gap between 215, my 3 iron, and 188, my 4 iron. I could either do a 102 full power shot to have an uphill chip to the green, or I can hit a partial 215 and go for this. The benefit of being short here is how easy this shot's going to be from this position. Versus if we land on the back of the green, you can see where my cursor is there, we're going to have a tough putt. Because if we hit that putt too far, it's going to roll all the way down the green. So in this case, I would go for the 188. If I hit a 102, it's going to carry around 192. This slope, if I hit a slight fast, it's going to carry just a little bit further and hit this slope. So in that case, I'm going to count for the win just a little bit. Instead of doing the full multiplier, so this would normally I would play double, so 14 or more clicks to the right. That would be about 2.25. So that would be about 18 clicks to the left. But I'm going to be hitting a fast. So I only have to really do seven clicks to the left to compensate. The lie angle is basically flat. We have a little bit of a downhill lie, which is going to help us out. So then let's do our practice swing. There's the tempo. I don't want that fast, though. So I need to slow it down just a bit. But 102, let's do it. So a little faster than I wanted it. It was a full fast. I was going for a slight gray fast. And I got a 101 instead of 102. But we miss hit. We're still playing from the fairway here. It's going to be an easy chip shot. or splash. As we move into this shot, you have two options you can hit. You could hit this. This chip shot is actually a safe shot because it was, as we see, it's uphill all the way to the hole. That means you're not risking going too far and rolling off the back of the green. You could also hit a partial splash shot. So I could go to the, I could pull the lob wedge out and hit a partial splash and stick it. That's a benefit of the splash is that you can hit it and stick it right next to the hole. But I always go for it. My goal on a par five, I want to get an eagle. So I would actually chip this. I would go, we have a three feet uphill. So I'm going to be hitting into the slope. I'm going to go for a perfect follow through. It's going to roll up. A gap wedge is going to roll up about five or six yards. A little less because of the uphill lie. But I'm going to hit a 102 power to compensate. So we are going for this. You want to read it just like a putt. 
So it's going to hit, bounce to the right, and row to the right. So let's see if we can send this one home. But lie angle is not effect. There's a little bit of uphill lie, which is going to take off about another yard. It's going to land about one, about seven yards. I'm going to do a full power swing to compensate for that. Oh, and almost, you know, we went for it. I hit a fast follow through. That was the problem. Nice chip. Well I got the one or two I wanted. I hit right. a fast. Nice. That Three fast follow through, it added too much spin, added too much power. But it still is a solid shot. If we hit a perfect there, it goes in. Now, as we take a look at these short putts, I approach these very aggressively. It's breaking left to right. I'm going to sign that at a five. I'm going to go five clicks over to the right and then hit it exactly where the game tells me past the hole and hit it firm and send That's it home. Good. So that That's chip good. shot is an important Second. point. I should have actually did a practice swing to find now out where my tempo was. Down to two under. And that was the mistake Let's I made. So starting off with two birdies, that's great. So now we're moving to a par three. Course management first, always. Where do you want to miss? On this hole, we have a right to, slope, right to left sloping green. If we land on this upper tier, we are in trouble. So we don't want to be far up here. We don't want to be to the left because we're going to be chipping or splashing. I would rather miss to the right so that we have a chance to birdie. Now, on this hole, it's flat. I don't have to account for elevation changes, but we do have to account for the cross tailwind. That cross tailwind is going to add about between four to six yards to the shot. So in this case, I'm going to take off. I want to choose my landing spot, 163. I need to add, I mean, I need to take off about five four i'm gonna do five so i'm gonna take off five yards that's 159 so i'm gonna go down a club 159 hit the six iron a tailwind is always going to add a little bit more spin as well so to counteract that you can pull up shot shaping there move add a little backspin move the right stick down so that you can catch on the green a little bit better I just see unconsciously mood already accounted for the wind. So it is blowing from right to left. So I need to account for that. So I need to aim about 7, 10, 12 clicks to the right. I'm going to add a few more because when I miss this shot, I'd rather miss to the right than left. And then I'm going to do a practice swing. Get a little bit slow. I think I can compensate. Let's hit the shot. So a little on the fast side. That's It was good on, that I compensated right. for that course management always be thinking about where you want to hit it where do you want to miss where do you not want to miss so look how this is going to work out nice it's going to keep rolling down the hill we're not off the green it's going to be a tough putt it's definitely going to be a tough putt but we're on the green we have a good look at birdie that's going to work just now as you move into approach. this on these flat putts, I usually go with what the game tells me. 11, or you can use the 1.25, which would basically be around 11. Let's assign numbers here. So the first one, I'm going to assign a 10. And the middle, it's going to break. So I'm going to do 10, 8, so 18. I'm going to do 6, 24, and a little bit more at the hole, so 27. So let's go to our shot. Let's do 27 clicks. So 27 flicks of the stick. Always do the eyeball test. This is where Phil comes in. I, st I think I have the read as long as I hit it firm. See if we can make it. I'll, I'll wait. What I do, I pull it back to where I feel the vibration let up. And I do that a few times to get a feel for when I want to swing. Well, it's heading towards the and we made it. 27 well click. Dead one. center. Made the putt. Three birdies. I and hope this was helpful to you par. to hear my thought process. Right, I've received so many to requests to here. make a full hole tutorial series with commentary on all my shot processes and approach shots different ways. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this in the future, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all my new videos and live streams. I also live stream on some days on Twitch, some days on YouTube. My schedule is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon. Sometimes I go live at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesdays and Thursdays as well. So if you don't see me on Twitch at 6 p.m., that means I'm on YouTube and vice versa. The easiest way to stay up to date is follow me on both platforms and turn on notifications. As always, have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon.